Good news, you have been bitten by the shutter bug and your love for photography has begun to blossom. You want your skills to grow so you can work your way up that ladder of photographic success. These tips for beginners will help you improve the way you find and take great photographs. Now, once that joy of photography enters your veins, you want to improve your photos and improve them fast. And the best way to take better pictures is to take pictures. And to take pictures, you always want to have a camera with you wherever you go. Take your camera outside when your son goes climbing. Take your camera to your favorite coffee shop. Take your camera to your favorite frozen pond. If you always have a camera, you always have the ability to capture that magic moment. The camera you carry can be the camera in your phone, or it could be a larger full-frame Sony mirrorless A7C like the one I'm shooting on right now. The best way to capture those casual photos of a friend or a rainbow at the end of a hike is to always carry a camera because you're really working on two skills at once if you have the camera with you. The presence of the camera in your pocket is a constant reminder to be looking for that stunning picture. And the second skill is to have the courage to take that camera out of your pocket to actually capture it and get that great picture. The longer you're a photographer, you're gonna learn that sometimes you find the picture and other times the picture finds you. And you can only capture that moment if you have your camera with you at all times. An excellent beginner step to help you visualize taking better photos through composition is to turn on the grid or the rule of thirds on your camera or your cell phone. To do this on your phone, it's pretty simple. Open up the settings and scroll down to where it says camera. From camera, you then want to scroll down and turn on the grid. The grid that we're talking about here is the rule of thirds. With your grid turned on, you can begin to visualize your world using the rule of thirds. The skill you want to develop with the grid is composition within the frame, and the rule of thirds is a great place to start. Simply put, you want to place objects at one of the four intersections. Or you can divide your frame either horizontally or vertically. If you go horizontally, you can literally visualize beach, ocean, sky, or vertically, you can go left, center, or right. Or as you get even better, you can use a combination of intersections or the columns and rows going horizontally or vertically. Eventually, the rule of thirds is gonna become second nature to you. And when you turn your camera on, you will spot objects and place them into one of the intersections or one of the columns or rows. But until it does, leave that grid on your phone and you will be amazed at how quickly your skills of composition improve by using the grid. Now these next two tips, they go hand in hand and they improved my photography right away when I was a beginner. As new photographers, we tend to stand so far away from our subjects because we don't want to invade their space or maybe we still don't have the courage yet to get closer. In reality, we are so far away from them that our subjects barely fill the frame. To solve this problem, it's so simple. Get two steps closer. Get two steps closer to your subject is going to allow you to fill the frame. Getting closer allows you to see the details of the object or the emotion of the person you're trying to capture. As you get closer to your subject, now remember this. Top of the head, top of the frame. Top of the head, top of the frame. As beginner photographers, we want to place that head for some strange reason right in the middle third. Or worse yet, we want to place it right in the middle. Place the top of the head at the top of the frame is going to make your photos so much more appealing to the eye. Plus, to get the head at the top of the frame, chances are you've got to take two steps closer to get there. When you develop this skill as a photographer, your friends are now going to look at your photos and say, wow, that's a great photo. Can I share it? I would love to learn what advice you would give to a new photographer. Leave your comment down below. Or what is a simple piece of advice that another photographer has shared with you that really help your photography take off? 
Stick around for another great video about how to improve your skills as a photographer. Hit that like button and as always, keep taking photos. We'll see you in the next one.